So last night I was watching Cosmos and there's this episode with Neil deGrasse and he's telling you about the Library of Alexandria. Alexandria would use a lot of its resources to, to buy knowledge, to, to go and research all over the world and bring books for their library. And it paid off very well, they, they were very prosperous. Um, but the problem was that this knowledge was um, contained for the elite. It, didn't, it wasn't accessible by everyone. Therefore, there wasn't enough people to defend the library when the mobs came with Christianity to destroy the library. Um, but then he says, you know, it was like the greatest library of all times and whatnot, but now you have on your cell phone, on the internet, so much knowledge and that what was in Alexandria is only a tiny, tiny percentage of what you can access. But I'm thinking that, yes, it's probably accessible, but most people won't consume that content because they're not... They're not really going to go and, and read a paper on research, and probably they're not going to understand it uh, if they don't have the proper background. But as you see what's on YouTube, you know, there's there's videos for the stupidest things, and there's some for pretty advanced stuff. And I often find myself looking for how-tos on how to do things on YouTube, and then I do things. And, you know, as years go by with the internet, you have to ask less and less questions. So I was thinking uh, that maybe professionals that have the time to do this could talk about really advanced subjects. Very much like you can go and see the Coursera stuff and get a, a course on genetics from MIT. Right? Like that's a pretty um, complex subject that requires thinking and focus for a long time to understand. Um, but then that's what's in school only. Uh, and you could put an entire curriculum in, from school like that. But then once you graduate, a lot of more interesting things happen and you get to understand way better what you went uh, to school for as you experience it in, in the field and as you need to go beyond what was taught. If you have this higher level thinking that is knowledge that, sta that stays within companies mostly. Uh, big corporations that have researchers and whatnot, and it's not shared. And some do share, right? But if they share, it's maybe via blog, email, papers. Again, it's written content. And people online, I think they're consuming way more visual and video content. So if you have the chance to talk in depth about a very, very advanced subject, no matter how complex you think it is and that how very little people you think are going to understand you. You should talk about it on, on YouTube. And I think that would have an impact because you'd be surprised the kind of things people are looking for and that the questions they need to answer.